Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the difference between array and structure. First of all, if we talk about the array, and here we know that first of all we provide the data type, which is the integer, then the name of array, which is a, and its size. So here this is two. So in the memory we are going to declare the size, which is having two blocks. Here we know that the name of array is a. So a is the array. And here we are using the int data type. We know that integer is of two bytes. So let us suppose that the first memory we are having is 300. So next memory block will be of 302. So we are keep on adding with two. So here there are two. That means size of array is two. So two blocks are reserved. So we can say that we have declared array A whose size is two and that is of integer type. So here this part is called the declaration after declaring the array we are going to provide the value so here we are providing the first value which is 101 so 101 is stored then the second value is 102 so here second value is stored so this second part is called the initialization now we are going towards the structure in the structure we are saying struct we know that this struct is the keyword so here we are having is the first difference that in array we don't have any keyword means no keyword is used but if we talk about the structure in the structure we use struct keyword so we can say that the struct keyword is used to define the structure now afterward we are providing the name of structure that is employee now after what we are having is the curly bracket start till the curly bracket end. So this is the body of the structure. So we are defining that inside the body of structure we are having two different different data types. The first we are having is the variable which is code that is of integer data type. And second one we are having is the name that is of character data type. So here we have defined the structure. This is called that this is the definition of structure after giving definition of the structure now we are going to declare the structure variable so here we are writing s now this s that means we are declaring the structure variable or we can say that this is the declaration of structure variable when we declare this s variable we know that this s variable is of structure and this structure has two elements the first element is the code so here the first element is created that is code and that is of integer type so here one block is reserved let's say its address is 701 and the second element of the structure is name so here inside the s we are having one more block reserved with the name and here one block is reserved to the memory let's say the address is 801 and that is of character type so these two are the part of s because we know that s is the structure variable so here s is belonging to structure and structure contain code and name so that means inside the s we are having code and name so with the help of s we can access code and name so this is called the declaration of structure variable now after that we are providing the value so here first of all we are saying 101 so inside the code we are providing the value which is 101 and here we are having the second value which is a which is a character so a we are going to provide inside the name so here this is called initialization means providing the value so here we are having the next difference between array and structure in the array we are having is the declaration but if you talk about the structure in the structure we are having the declaration as well as definition so here inside the array we are only having the declaration but here inside the structure we are having the definition as well as the declaration so both things are present the next difference between array and structure is that we can see that while initialization inside the array we have provided same type of value and that same type of value is integer 
but here if you talk about the structure inside the structure we have provided different types of value we have given 101 which is the integer and a which is the character so we can say that array have same type of data but structure contain different type of data so whenever we are declaring an array the array can take only same type of data means all can be integer or all can be character but if we talk about the structure structure can contain integer float character together depending upon the definition of structure so here inside that we have used integer and the character so here it is taking two data types one is of integer and second one is of character for declaring the array we are using the int data type and we know that int float char these are the system data type or primitive data type there are some data type which are the part of system just like int float char they are also called system data type inbuilt data type or the primitive data type so from this primitive data type we are creating the array a which is having the size 2 so that means this is the derived from the primitive so that's why array is called derived data type but if you talk about the structure so here we are defining the structure which is employee and inside that it is the wish of user let us suppose that i am the user i want that inside this employee structure i want one integer and second character so this is my wish so as per my wish i am taking the elements while defining the structure so that's why because of the user wish we are defining the structure that's why it is called the user defined data type because structure elements are taken by the user because the user want that here int and char should be there that's why it is called user defined although we know that here we are using the int and the char and these are the primitive data type primitive means which are the part of system int float char are the part of system which are also called inbuilt data type or the primitive data type so this also comes in the category of derived data type but majorly we say that it is the user defined because the data types are selected by the user next difference between array and structure is that array don't have bit fields but structure may have bit fields bit fields the meaning of bit field is that whenever we are specifying the size into bits at that time we are going to save the memory so that is called the bit field whenever we are going to save something into bits so that size should be saved that is called the bit fields so that is possible with the structure means structure can be having bit fields if you want in that case memory will be saved but that is not the case of array so array don't have bit fields but structure may have bit fields so we have learned the difference between array and structure in which the first difference is that array we don't use any keyword but for the structure we use the struct keyword while defining the structure so here we are using the struct keyword whenever we are defining the structure inside the array we only have the declaration but if you talk about the structure so here we are having the definition as well as the declaration so this is the next difference array only have the declaration and the structure have both definition as well as declaration inside the array let us suppose that the array is of integer type so same type of data just like integer that will be stored so inside the array we can have same type of data but inside the structure we can have different data types so we may have int and char that means both data can come so here 101 is the integer and a is the character so inside the structure different type of data can come now the next difference about the array and structure is that array is called derived data type we know that integer float and character these are called primitive or system defined or inbuilt data types so from that we are going to declare the array which is a2 that's why it is the derived data type but 
if you talk about the structure it is the user defined data type so here inside the structure the members is the user choice the user want that first should be integer second should be character so depending upon the user choice we define the structure that's why the structure is called user defined data type the next difference between array and structure is that array do not have bit fields but structure may have bit fields we use the bit fields for memory efficiency means we can store something into the bits so structure can be saved into the bits that is possible but array cannot because structure can be saved into the bits that's why structure is the memory efficient so that is the difference between array and structure